सो होप यू गाइज ऑल आर फाइन एंड डूइंग ग्रेट एंड आई एम इब्तसाम एंड दिस इज कोडिंग डेप्स एंड फ्रॉम लास्ट थ्री वीडियोज वी वर वर्किंग ऑन आवर ई आर सी ट्वेंटी टोकन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट Uh, we have successfully created our token with the name my token and that symbol is like mtk and this is the contract that uh, we were working on it and we already you know extend our erc20 token contract with the help of erc20 capped in the last video the capped contract is basically to limit the mint to limit the total supply of the coin like how much you want to mint your token and in this video we are going to see like how we can you know extend our contract more and we are going to see like how we can you know uh, add the functionality of ownable and this ownable functionality is basically you know gives the owner to right to do everything you know and uh, we are going to do that with again with the help of open zeppelin and how we can you know add the add one more contract from open zeppelin and this is the ownable contract so first of all we have to you know uh, find where the contract is and this is so again this is our contract with the name my token and we have already inherited erc20 cap con co contract and this is the constructor of erc20 this is the constructor from erc20 cap so again like i want to mention like as much so like uh, whenever you want to you know uh, import uh, the contract you have to mention the constructor because every contract every contract there must be a constructor so this is the constructor for this contract and this is the constructor the erc20 it means like the uh, constructor from the erc20 contract and this is the constructor from the erc20 capped contract so yeah and yeah this is the function that we have you know worked uh, last week we have mint the tokens and we have successfully you know checked the uh, authentication so like we have you know right now i cannot mint more than 1000 uh, ethers and yeah so in this video we are going to see like how we can you know extend our contract more with the help of ownable contract and where is the ownable contract uh, we have to see like I, i think it's in the extensions folder no it's not in the extensions folder where it can be uh, yeah let's check the access folder yeah there is the contract so the ownable contract you guys you know can read the documentation can read this these lines of comments and these are the multi, uh, multiple line comments and yeah this is the only owner function like modify i think if you guys know about uh, the basics of solidity then you uh, then you should know about the modifier like how the modifier work and the, this is a function uh, of returning the owner like who is the owner uh, we will check it we will test it and yeah this is the transfer owner ownership function so yeah yeah and there should be a variable okay we are not going to you know uh, read this contract more i think this is enough and we are going to inherit it and how we can inherit it uh, we have to you know copy this command let's copy this command so the same we are going to do it okay so where is this contract so it's in the open zeppelin contracts and then so we have to remove it okay yeah we have to remove it till contracts and after the contracts folder there is the access folder and in the access folder we have an ownable contract ownable contract so like ownable again it's a simple contract where you know uh, you guys can uh, mention the authority to like whoever runs the function whoever runs who the owner can only the owner can you know runs the function so the owner is like uh, you can mention to to the first address to the second address of the truffle so yeah and we are going to see that like how this ownable contract works so we have successfully you know import the contract and now we have to you know mention the contract name and where is what is the contract name uh yeah here is the contract name we have to copy it and let's go back to the con token uh, contract and yeah we have successfully you know import the contract so i think let's just compile the contract if there is an error we will see it truffle compile <clears throat> uh yeah i think there is no error there is no error there is no error and how we can you know test this ownable contract okay and now uh, so like how we can test it so i'm going to you know uh, deploy the contract and you know when uh, someone going to deploy the contract with the help of truffle then the truffle is going to use the first address uh, as a token deployer uh, as a token deployer and how can you can uh, how you uh, and how many addresses first of all we can see so like truffle develop so i will show you uh yeah so these are the addresses you know these are the addresses these are the test addresses uh, okay and 
the truffle is going to use the first address to to deploy the token and this first address is going to be our owner as well because we are inherit the ownable contract we have successfully inherited the ownable contract and let's save this file and i already compile it so when i'm going to deploy it so after that deployment we are going to check like is this the owner of our contract so we have to check it and now i am going to deploy it and you guys already know like how we can you know deploy it on truffle you have to write one command truffle migrate minus minus reset okay yeah truffle migrate minus minus reset and uh, we have to wait few seconds so yeah i think uh, yeah uh, both of con uh, like uh, both of the contracts are successfully deployed and now we have to write one variable await is equal to what is the contract name my token my and t is capital my token dot deploy let's so what does it mean like we have to create one instance of our contract okay rr and yeah and now i'm going to check the uh, uh which function like i'm going to check the uh, owner function so like okay rr dot owner because we have to test it like who is the owner of this contract and owner okay rr dot owner it should return the first address you guys can see this is the owner of our contract let me show you again let me where are the first address that we have checked this few minutes ago yeah so here is the first address so now this is the first address and this is the owner of our contract you know and now we can use this modifier uh, where is the modifier and now we can use this uh, modifier only owner on 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 every function wherever you guys want to uh, wherever you guys want to you know uh, uh, use it like uh, okay if uh, i place the only owner of uh, only owner modifier here then only the contract address only the owner can mint uh, the tokens so this is how you you know uh, we can uh, we can inherit the contract from open zeppelin and uh, we can you know use the ownable functionality from open zeppelin so and we have other contracts as well and in this you know in this um, uh, series of tutorials we are going to extend our erc20 token contract more and this is it from uh, this video and i'm going to see you in the next video till then bye bye